Okay, this is Jeff from RV Diagnostics. I want to prove something to you here. A lot of you are doing uh, parasitic draw or something draining down your battery checks with test lights. Well, there are various types of test lights. So you say, oh, it's bright or dim, and you go with that. Um, nothing like a meter and the amp meter to show you the big difference. So I've just got two basic test lights here, and I'm gonna show you the big difference in amp draw. And one will kill your battery faster than the other. So I'm gonna turn the camera around now, and I'm gonna show you the test light and how bright they are, just basically off of a uh, 13 volt battery. So, and then I'll show you how many amps each test light draws. And you can come up with your own conclusion that basically that test is not valid for modern day cars after about 1980. Uh, yeah, you can pull some fuses and get lucky. But some of these RVs we work on in cars are in the hundreds of fuses now. So uh, you'll see what I mean here. Thank you for being patient and watching this video. And remember, subscribe to the YouTube channel RV Diagnostics. And give me some likes out there or dislikes and put some comments in there like, hey, you're bald and you don't know what you're talking about. Ah, go ahead. Here we go. We're going to turn the camera around. Let's have some fun. All right. Now, here's your test light. This is a Mako test light. There you go. There's the brightness of it. And here's one of them other test lights. I think I gave like 20 or 30 of these away. I'm going to put it there. There you go. Okay, so really there ain't a big difference there. All right, let me get in the way of it. All right, now this is one of them multimeters, right? Set on amps. There were about 200 milliamps, which will kill a battery in a heartbeat. So let me go close the garage door to get rid of some of this uh, glare. Oh, look, there's the sun up there. Okay, all right, back to... Uh, doing this. Here we go. We're going to take the cheap test light, which it's okay to have one, and we're going to run it. All right, here we go. Now, to do amps, you do it in series, okay? Oh, that's, the, that's it. It's stressing out. All right, there you go. So, one lead is hooked to the positive. There's the test light. The wire goes all the way to this tip, and ready. I'm going to hook it up, and... There you go, it's about the same brightness at 127 milliamps. Well, this will kill your battery overnight. Okay, now that's the one test light. Now let's look at the other test light, which is the Matco, a little bit better one. I guess, I don't know. Probably all made in China. Now this one's made in USA. I bought it like 15 years ago. Ready? We're going to activate it. Okay, there it is. 76 milliamps. That's a, a big difference, folks. Now notice I got it on a 200 milliamp scale, and it's right here, maxed fuse, and this is volt milliamps. This is your big amps, 10. All right, so there was the conclusion that both test lights basically had the same brightness, but both drew much, much more different amps. So the conclusion of this is basically you need a meter to give you a value to make a good diagnostics. Thank you. This is Jeff from RV Diagnostics, and thank you for being a member.